Hello everyone. We all see dozens of airplanes flying around on daily basis. Have you ever thought how these planes come into existence? Many stories from antiquity involve flight, such as the Greek legend of Icarus and Daedalus, and the Vimana in ancient Indian epics. Around 400 BC in Greece, Archytas was reputed to have designed and built the first artificial, self-propelled flying device, a bird-shaped model propelled by a jet of what was probably steam, said to have flown some 200 meters. This machine may have been suspended for its flight. Some of the earliest recorded attempts with gliders were those by the 9th century Andalusian and Arabic-language poet Abbas ibn Furnas and the 11th century English monk Ilmer of Malmesbury. Both experiments injured their pilots. Leonardo da Vinci researched the wing design of birds and designed a man-powered aircraft in his Codex on the Flight of Birds 1502, noting for the first time the distinction between the center of mass and the center of pressure of flying birds. In 1799, George Cayley set forth the concept of the modern airplane as a fixed-wing flying machine with separate systems for lift, propulsion, and control. Cayley was building and flying models of fixed-wing aircraft as early as 1803, and he built a successful passenger-carrying glider in 1853. In 1856, Frenchman Jean-Marie Le Bris made the first powered flight by having his glider, l'albatros artificial, pulled by a horse on a beach. Then the Russian Alexander F. Mazhysky also made some innovative designs. In 1883, the American John J. Montgomery made a controlled flight in a glider. Other aviators who made similar flights at that time were Otto Lilienthal, Percy Pilcher, and Octave Chanute. Sir Hiram Maxim built a craft that weighed 3.5 tons, with a 110-foot 34M wingspan that was powered by 360 horsepower to 7 OQ steam engines driving to propellers. In 1894, his machine was tested with overhead rails to prevent it from rising. The test showed that it had enough lift to take off. The craft was uncontrollable, and it is presumed that Maxim realized this because he subsequently abandoned work on it. In the 1890s, Lawrence Hargrave conducted research on wing structures and developed a box kite that lifted the weight of a man. His box kite designs were widely adopted, although he also developed a type of rotary aircraft engine. He did not create and fly a powered fixed-wing aircraft. Between 1867 and 1896, the German pioneer of human aviation Otto Lilienthal developed heavier than air flying. He was the first person to make well-documented, repeated, successful gliding flights. Lilienthal's work led to him developing the concept of the modern wing. His flight attempts in 1891 are seen as the beginning of human flight. The Lilienthal Normal Sigelopate is considered to be the first airplane in series production and his work heavily inspired the Wright brothers. The Frenchman Clement Ader constructed his first of three flying machines in 1886, the O. It was a bat-like design run by a lightweight steam engine of his own invention, with four cylinders, developing 20 horsepower 15 Q, driving a four-blade propeller. The engine weighed no more than 4 kilograms per kilowatt 6, 6 LB or HPH. The wings had a span of 14 meters 46 aft. All up weight was 300 kilograms 660 LB. On October 9, 1890, Ader attempted to fly the O. Aviation historians give credit to this effort as a powered takeoff, an uncontrolled hop of approximately 50 meters 160 aft at a height of approximately 200 millimeters 7, 9 in. Ader's two subsequent machines were not documented to have achieved flight. The American Wright brothers' flights in 1903 are recognized by the FD Rational Ronatique Internationale Phi, the standard setting and record keeping body for aeronautics, as the first sustained and controlled heavier than air powered flight. By 1905, the Wright Flyer 3 was capable of fully controllable, stable flight for substantial periods.
The Wright brothers credited Otto Lilienthal as a major inspiration for their decision to pursue manned flight. In 1906, the Brazilian Alberto Santos Dumont made what was claimed to be the first airplane flight unassisted by Catapult 30 and set the first world record recognized by the Aero Club de France by flying 220 meters 720 f in less than 22 seconds. This flight was also certified by the FI, an early aircraft design that brought together the modern monoplane tractor configuration was the Bell Riot 8 design of 1908. It had movable tail surfaces controlling both yaw and pitch, a form of roll control supplied either by wing warping or by ailerons and controlled by its pilot with a joystick and rudder bar. It was an important predecessor of his later Bell Riot Chi Channel Crossing aircraft of the summer of 1909. World War I served as a testbed for the use of the airplane as a weapon. Airplanes demonstrated their potential as mobile observation platforms, then proved themselves to be machines of war capable of causing casualties to the enemy. The earliest known aerial victory with a synchronized machine gun armed fighter aircraft occurred in 1915 by German Luftstreitkraft Lieutenant Kurt Winkens. Fighter aces appeared. The greatest by number of aerial combat victories was Manfred von Richthofen, also known as the Red Baron. Following Wii, aircraft technology continued to develop. Ocock and Brown crossed the Atlantic non-stop for the first time in 1919. The first international commercial flights took place between the United States and Canada in 1919. Airplanes had a presence in all the major battles of World War II. They were an essential component of the military strategies of the period, such as the German Blitzkrieg, the Battle of Britain, and the American and Japanese aircraft carrier campaigns of the Pacific War. The first practical jet aircraft was the German Heinkel He-178, which was tested in 1939. In 1943, the Messerschmitt Me-262, the first operational jet fighter aircraft, went into service in the German Luftwaffe. The first jet airliner, the de Havilland Comet, was introduced in 1952. The Boeing 707, the first widely successful commercial jet, was in commercial service for more than 50 years, from 1958 to 2010. The Boeing 747 was the world's biggest passenger aircraft from 1970 until it was surpassed by the Airbus A380 in 2005. Supersonic airliner flights, including those of the Concorde, have been limited to overwater flight at supersonic speed because of their sonic boom, which is prohibited over most populated land areas. The high cost of operation per passenger mile in a deadly crash in 2000 induced the operators of the Concorde to remove it from service. When risk is measured by deaths per passenger kilometer, air travel is approximately 10 times safer than travel by bus or rail. However, when using the deaths per journey statistic, air travel is significantly more dangerous than car, rail, or bus travel. There is a significant difference between the safety of airliners and that of smaller private planes, with the per mile statistic indicating that airliners are 8.3 times safer than smaller planes. Last but not the least, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative videos like this one. Goodbye.